Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Motai Media, and today we've got the final installments of the Reviews Roundup in 2023. All of the December albums, EPs, mixtapes, whatever that I wanted to rate and review. Not a ton in December, I will tell you not a ton, because uh, that's just how things go. A lot of people don't release in December, so let's hop into it with Barely Live, the Casket Case EP. Um, Barely Live is really trying to capture the magic of their latest two EPs with that kind of retro overtone, but uh, Casket Case is sad Sadly, one of the weakest Barely Live projects, I think, to date. Um, the production feels too overblown and stale for an artist who is constantly at the forefront of new trends. And I will give it a bow tied 4 out of 10. Uh, now we're moving into Dylan Francis. This mixtape is Fire 2. Uh, truly embracing the mixtape format, this is a mixed bag of, well, everything. Uh, production quality, features, both production and vocal, uh, genres, tones, it is a mixtape, and for that, I appreciate it uh, being labeled as such. Uh, as for the actual music, there's a lot of middle-of-the-road tracks with varying degrees of slightly better or worse than the one before it. Um, no real standout tracks, but no horrible ones really either, but I will give it a bow tie to five. Then we've got Guilt Chip with Machine Language. A relatively small artist, Guilt Chip, is here with his debut LP, Machine Language, and it definitely exceeded my expectations. Primarily bouncing around various electro house and complexro styles, this record is layered with heavily distorted synths and crushing bass lines. And with its analog sound design, this is definitely one of the better debut albums to produce. I will give it a bow tied seven. Then we've got Memba, East Meets West. Uh, as its title implies, it's... East Meets West is a fusion of sound design from the American West and the Indian East. Uh, stylistically, this project does hit the nail on the head with its production elements and tone. If anything, I just wanted to hear more of this style from Mimba. And they do stuff that's pretty close to this, but not this explicitly East Meets West. And I would like to hear more. Just a quick three-track EP, but I will give it a Bowtide 7. They've got Kai Wiston with XUL2. Uh, Kai Wiston's out of left field experimental high concept production has seemingly always hit a chord with me, um, except for this second installment uh, of, of X, uh, XUL here. Some of the sound design is fascinating and creative, but I'm not really understanding what the purpose of this was and or what the, the narrative through line is here. So I will give it a bow tied five. We've got Inhuman with Pandorum. Uh, embracing the Code Pandorum side of its production, Inhuman is in full destructive mode with this record. It's visceral, it's haunting, and it's maybe not for me. Uh, my biggest gripe with this record is that it just kind of all sounds the same and follows the same sonic structure. There is nothing really gripping me as well as, or I should say as much as Arrival had at this past year, his earlier LP. So I will give this one a Bowtide 5. And finally, we've got Bishu with BXU2, the second installment of the BXU saga, I guess, at this point, uh, is a more fleshed out, variety-filled project. Albeit with that kind of variety comes differing quality, and differing quality there definitely is on this one, I must say. Uh, and what is essentially kind of like a mixtape EP, uh, there are some fun tunes and some boring tunes. Uh, overall win for the community and for trying something new. Love this style. I think it's great. It just, as from a critical perspective, I'm going to give it a bow tied six. But that has been uh, the collection of all of the albums, EPs, mixtapes. They're all done for the year now. So thank you for sticking along in the journey. And uh, we'll see you soon for my 2023 in review series. But uh, until then, I'm Dakota from Bowtie Media, and I'll see you guys in another video.